Hey guys and welcome to the channel Adventure Travel and Scuba that's the first video with uh, the new channel name I have changed the channel name uh, quite a few videos back they all had a previous name on uh, videos because I am running a little bit ahead of time so I wasn't able to change it back to the current uh, channel name some of you already know the new channel name is Adventure Travel and Scuba not Scuba Travel and Adventure So today um, I will be working on replacing the battery on my 2017 Africa Twin. Uh, the battery um, is already five years old. The old battery uh, was working fine for quite some time, but last year I had one mishap while I was in Utah and I couldn't start my bike in the morning. Um, it could have been related because I was charging the phone, but normally I never had that issue uh, when I was charging while I was packing, but the battery pretty much got, got down to nothing. I wasn't able to start the bike. Today I will be trying to replace that battery I don't think there's many videos uh, that shows you how to do that but first of all I would like to mention that I will be upgrading the battery to the anti-gravity ATZ10 lithium ion battery so first thing when you buy this battery you have to fully charge it that's what even though they are charged because i checked the voltage uh, on the battery before i put a charger on it uh, it was fully charged but there is a yellow sticker actually on the battery just give me a moment i'll take it out there is that sticker right here that the manufacturer tells you to charge the battery anyways before you put it in so that's what i did and to charge the battery i went with the noco genius 5 charger that you can see right here it charged it pretty quickly uh, i would say probably about two hours it was fully charged uh, and the battery was ready to go today is still february uh still snow outside but uh, I'm getting the bike slowly ready for the season. Uh, there wasn't much riding this year in winter. I just did one trip down to Brack Creek, Kananaskis country, and that was it. The winter had quite a bit of snow and it was cold. Uh, even yesterday was still minus 25 degrees Celsius. And today, uh, weather turned around and we should have around plus five celsius so the weather isn't too bad to tackle this task it shouldn't take me too long even though the battery as many of you know is located right here and it's not not the easiest to take it out i think because uh, i think when i was trying to uh, connect my leads uh, back in the days when i bought the bike it uh, it was a little bit of monkeying around so anyway so so i give you a little bit of overview what's going on here what we will do and i will jump into this video and start taking everything off and get the battery out of there and try to put in the new lithium ion what's nice about the lithium ion batteries uh, as many of you probably already know is that they are super light they weigh next to nothing for me that wasn't the reason why i bought this battery because of the weight i was reading up on this battery i also made a little survey on my channel even though not many participated in it but most of the people were convincing me to go with the lithium ion for me the main reason was that apparently after reading on the manufacturer website they're saying that this battery should last about 70 percent longer than the standard oem battery that we have on our bikes here i don't want to push any further and get over with and change the battery now uh, while it's still uh, good so I don't get stranded anywhere again when the battery goes down or goes flat on me completely and I'll be in trouble as you guys know it's not a quick thing even to do a jump start but what I will do I will modify it I buy an extra cable and I will convert it so it has attachment for a jump starting uh, the battery if I need to in the future because at this point um, my 
wire to charge the battery is not wired directly to the battery it's wired to easter beaver pc8 uh, fuse breaker it is charging the battery through this way as well because it's hooked up not through accessory it's port it's hooked up through a direct port to the battery but i don't think that would be a good idea to jump through the whole circuit breaker or fuse box versus being directly off the battery and that will i will use always uh, if i need to charge additional supplies because i have a usb plug that goes in it so step number one would be to remove the toolbox that's uh, on the africa twin and as you many know that's the number five allen key that is also located under the seat if you need to use that one i prefer the actual tools when i'm working in a garage And that comes out at this point. And now behind this cover, we have the battery. So the best bet is to disconnect your negative cable on a bike here first. And lucky that's the same size of the wrench, number five. You can't see that, uh, but uh, it's right there in this little hole. So that's holding the negative wire for the battery. Yeah, that definitely don't give you too much slack in here. So at this point, I will remove the screw that's holding the positive on the left side here. So yes, it is number 10 wrench. Just be careful not to touch any metal parts, even though the battery is already disconnected on a negative wire but always better be safe than sorry you gotta go little by little there's many design flaws that i find on the africa twin to get into certain components so i've got that bolt out now i'm able to pull the wires away and that should let me slide the battery out of there There we go. So now I will just clean that up and I will get back to you guys. So I just cleaned it up a little bit. Now I wanted to undo the negative cable of the battery itself and it's routed around. So the, the, you don't even have to take that out of here. Just keep that in place, just lift it up and remove it from the cradle. The new battery comes with the hardware and spacers what i want to do i want to compare the heights so yeah as you see it's that much lower and that spacers fills it up exactly to the height where we need it to be i'm not gonna bother weighing those, those batteries because uh, you can look up the weights uh, of this battery uh, online And I will have to trim that a little bit as well. All right, she's trimmed to the size. And at this point, just gonna match up the cables here. I will use new screws. I will not reuse the old ones. Make sure it's snug and we are ready to start putting it back to the cradle. I have pre-routed my charger for the battery and this charger actually has also indicator how is the battery uh, holding the charge. Uh, so you always know how much voltage you have in your battery. So it's just uh, from my local 
uh, Honda dealer uh, Optimite uh, chargers. Uh, they're, they're designed by the same company. So now all I'm gonna have to do is just uh, reattach my positive wires and then the negative. So it's gonna be a bit tricky so you will not see what's going on here, but I'll try to do my best. There's too many things that goes on. That's going to be really tricky <laughs> to get in there with all this. If I'll accomplish this, that's with my sausage fingers, that's going to be something. As long as it will grab the thread, it will go. All right, I managed to tighten that screw. So now I can push that all the way in. And we can start reattaching the negative cables. That wasn't too bad comparing to the positive. <laughs> All right, so she's tight or tight enough. So at this point, I reinstalled the bracket here and the toolbox back in its place. So just gonna put a zip tie here to hold this charger and it's actually flashing green and it indicates that the battery battery is fully charged at this moment it should be because it was being charged yesterday i skipped that part i started talking about putting the cover but now it's time to put the cover back on All right, so now I can tie the two screws and we should be pretty much finished. So as you see, it's uh, just a little bit of work to get it switched over to a new battery. It's all done. Now the bike is uh, almost ready uh, for a season. I have a couple more things uh, to do before I'm gonna start riding. I have to change the oil on uh, on the bike and also go over all the bolts, uh, make sure everything is tight. Uh, my plan is for this year to head out to Idaho BDR. So I'm hoping to keep the bike in a top shape before we go there. So I will go over all the bolts because I did quite a few rides and um, last year off-road um, and it was some of them were more difficult than others. Uh, a lot of shaking and you want to check your bolts every year just to make sure that everything is nice and tight on the swing arm and um, even the luggage rack. I had once a problem that the screw got uh, undone and I almost uh, lost my luggage. Uh, that was down in British Columbia a couple years ago. So anyways, uh, if you like that video, don't forget to smash the like button, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you with more videos in the future. Thank you for watching. Take care. Also, it's worthwhile to mention that the old, the original OEM battery has a 230 cold cranking amps and the new anti-gravity lithium ion has 360 cold cranking amps so that battery definitely has much more power as well so that's another benefit to replacing with the lithium ion let's hope it's gonna last as long or longer as the 
or OEM battery because I did get a five years out of it. Mind you though, it's still uh, the bike is being kept in a garage. It is cool in here and usually I don't have it on a trickle charger. Sometimes I, I, when it's really, really cold, I will plug it in uh, outside. Sometimes the temperature goes to like minus 36 here. So, but normally it doesn't have a trickle charger going on it. <laughs> 